Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Volvo XC60. Then I'll take you for a ride in it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a two litre D5 Power Pulse R Design Pro Auto all wheel drive. 2019 on a 19 plate, has done 14,703 miles. Last serviced on the 13th of the 8th, 2020 at 9,468 miles. Fuel economy, urban, 46.3 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 54.3 miles per gallon. And combined is 51.4 miles per gallon. It has a 0-60 time of 6.8 seconds and a top speed of 137 miles per hour out of a 232 brake horsepower, four cylinder, 16 valve engine. So there's a big flat front on the uh, on the Volvo here. The, this bit is level with the, the chin spoiler, so you've got to be careful when you're putting this in the garage. The big Volvo badge, kind of the brushed aluminium surround around the grill, front parking sensors, Volvo LED headlamps with the Thor hammer design in the lens there. Um, let me see, is that, I need to check. Just looks like we've got high pressure headlamp wash there. Diamond cut and matte black alloy wheels. What's that? Mul well, multi-spoke, I'd have to say. We've got little spats here on the wheel arch. Stop gravel rash and chipping up, up your wing edges. Power folding door mirrors. The sill protector in the bottom of the door protector there. Brushed aluminium trims around the windows. Brushed aluminium roof bar carrier system and uh, rear privacy glass. Got the shark fin aerial, the integrated rear tailgate spoiler. Power open, power close tailgate. Whoops, that's not, uh, that should be down like so. And then if you just flick it up, uh, you've got plenty of room to load your luggage in. We've also got, I think this, uh, yeah, little switch there, lowers the back end of the vehicle. Let's your dog jump in easier. We'll put that, uh, it'll go back up when we, when we go. Rear parking sensors there and the twin uh, chrome exhaust tips. We've also got, that's the reversing camera just in there. I've got my seat a long way back, but the, the backs of the seats are sculptured. Um, I've still got plenty of room, and as I say, my seat is virtually right the way back. Uh, seats are nice and comfortable. They look lovely too. They're like part leather and Alcantara. Um, Alcantara is nicer to sit on, I would say. We've also got contrast stitching. You've got the three uh, inertia real rear seat belts, and you've also got these Isofix rear child seat anchor points. Everything about Volvo, well made. Here we go, that opens up, a little space in there. And then the front here, if I press that, you've got two very, very well engineered cup holders. Uh, nice, nice vehicle all round. I'll just take you for riding it. That's the uh, Volvo key keyless ignition find some way to put that the uh, it's not the usual press button start it's a, a little thing that you turn you've got to have your foot on the brake otherwise it won't start and then you've got the Volvo infotainment system which I've got to say is not the easiest one I've ever used by any means um, there's all, all sorts of stuff on it drive mode here we go click the drive mode you've got eco comfort individual dynamic off-road um, but also uh, I mean if I put that on it, select individual there if I then go to the screen let's just press that again and then you've got you've got settings that you can <laughs> it's uh, the, the whole thing is in is a nightmare um, my car sound navigation media communication climate system if we click on system there driver profiles system languages and voice control, privacy and data, system information. We we'll go back, go to my car, displays, display themes. I mean, all, all these, these things, they just didn't need inventing. 
IntelliSafe, what have we got there? City safety warning, late, normal and early, choose preferred collision, <laughs> choose preferred collision warning timing, late, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, it probably comes up and says, you know, you've just had a crash, um, or early, so that's set on normal. Lane keeping aid mode, choose preferred assistance mode, assist, oh, Crikey, see, I, I accidentally touched it then, and I didn't want to. Assist both warning, road sign information. Now, speed limit warning, well, that, that's a good idea. You've also got uh, in here a um, heads-up display, and it shows you your speed, it shows you any turns you're going to make through the sat-nav, and it also uh, shows you the, the traffic uh, sign for the particular road you're on. You've also got it in the dash here. When you're going over, not that I would know of course, when you're going over the speed limit, it, it flashes, so that, that's great. Any, anybody who goes into a, a new car dealer and specifically asks for lane departure warning uh, should be banned from driving in my opinion, as, as I've said before, that, that's that's basically like a burglar going um, equipped, equipped to rob. If you intend on falling asleep or drifting across lanes in your car and you want something to stop you, then you shouldn't be on the road in the first place. Didn't need inventing. Speed camera audio warning. Uh, well, there you go. Road sign audio warning. So we'll click that on. But if we go back here, and we'll just go back, driver alert, alertness warning, rest stop guidance. You know, really, if, if you'd need them, you shouldn't be on the road in the first place. Individual drive mode, I think that's the one I was looking for. Here we go, presets. So you've got presets for comfort, driver display, choose driver display characteristics, eco comfort display, steering force, low, medium and high, um, powertrain ca characteristics, eco comfort dynamic, brake characteristics, normal and dynamic, suspension control, eco comfort and dynamic, Eco climate use eco climate to lower energy consumption, and that was the one I was looking for before because it kept kept switching off on the stop start. Which, if you watch this channel or me, you'll know I, I absolutely hate. I think it's I think it's the worst invention ever, it, apart from an electronic handbrake and the electronic uh, <laughs> service <laughs> schedule and stuff like that. Um, so. You can knock the start stop off there, but this car drives. I, I would say it's probably um, one one of the nicest cars I, I've driven recently. The way it just drives with everything set up as it's coming out of the factory, and um, do, you know, just just normal. It drives lovely. There's no need to alter the settings. It drives great. You alter the steering. The steering feels like in in the old days on the power steering rack. If it, if it started getting too much play in it, there used to be a screw in the middle, and you under the locking nut and just turned it. That's what this feels like because you're in the centre and you, you had to put pressure on it to turn it, and then when it turned, it, it went. And that that's what that this feels like. So there's there's no there's no need to go into that menu, in my opinion. Um, you know, Volvo. I, I I know they do the estates and the, and the fast, uh, the fast estates and so on, and, and they were great cars. But I don't think anybody particularly goes to buy a Volvo because they're fast or they're great at cornering. They usually go because they're safe cars, well built, well made, last forever, good engines. Um, so here we go: parking brake and suspension. Look at that. Disable leveling control. Auto activate parking brake. There's, there's just, there's just too much, there's just too much choice. It, I would imagine 95% of them, them things will never be touched. As I was saying about the, uh, the actual setup of, of the system, there's hardly any buttons. Here, look, if you click there, you've got a heated steering wheel, which is fantastic, and heated seats, and the temperature temperature you, you click on that and, and then you've got to either a plus like that or slide up and down all, all these things you've got to take your eyes off the road 
you can't use your phone, but you've got you've got a, a system in the car which is more complicated. So, having said that, the car drives fantastic. It looks fantastic. It's in great condition. <laughs> but set all these things before you go out, because I, and I'm, I'm surprised at this because, um, as far as I know, and up until recently, anyway. Nobody's ever been killed in a Volvo XC90. Now, if they introduce this system, then that record's going to go out the window. So, Volvo, don't stop it. Go back to switches. God, the, the, the seat is absolutely nuclear. Knock that off. Um, so, there's your drive mode there. You can switch about. That's hill hold and so on. Um, Again, there's a USB socket in here. If you just plug your phone in, then you've got. So I just literally just check that still. Yeah, I've been having trouble with my audio devices recently, so I've got like backups and backups all over the place. Um, if you plug in your phone, you've got Apple CarPlay. Which that's that's fantastic. Let's let's just go back here. There you go. If you go to settings, you've got Apple CarPlay there. So you, you switch that on. Just turn that down. That's traffic announcement. Can we knock that off? Traffic announcement. Cancel Apple CarPlay. Apple CarPlay settings. Barry's iPhone 12 Pro. Yet yeah, that's that's the one it's on. So that that's good. Text messages. Android. There's just so much. <laughs> that, that shouldn't be in a car. Let's go back. So there, there's the Apple CarPlay display, and you can send messages, and you can do it all by with with Siri. Listening to audio books, the music, um, Spotify, WhatsApp there, uh, and make telephone calls. But the main thing is, oh, <laughs> well, I, hang on. While we're at it, let me show you this if I can. Um, so we go to the, oh, I thought I'd gone to, there we go, that's it. So so we go here, and if you want to put a destination in, let's have a look, address, go to address, here we go, city, oh, United, it's already United Kingdom, but we can put postcode in here. Now here, let me just see there, that setting. Now, I would imagine most people are right-handed. I, th I think most people are right-handed. So that's probably great when this is left-hand drive, but, but when it's right-hand drive, now I've got, to, I've got to put our postcode in. So with my left hand, P, capital P, R, capital R, five, five, then we've got to put space in, so we'll put the space. Arty. No, it's a four. <laughs> that anybody knows that's a four. So now we go back. Uh, four. Capital Q. No Q. So four. So it. No, it's it's. You know, again, another system. Which doesn't need inventing. Capital Q. Back again. Four. J. I don't know how it got J from that. Capital S. Yeah, capital S. So S. So there we go. That that that's it. So. What does it do now? <laughs> Start navigation. So you, you've got to go back to the keyboard anyway to start the navigation. I, I think the route is being calculated. The anyway. route includes ferries. Please follow the road for 500 yards. The route includes ferries. Right. Okay. We've got electric seats. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll set off <laughs> before before everybody switches it off. It's a great car. Hey. And these, these things that I've been going on about, it's, it's stuff that you're not going to use. Please take the third exit at the roundabout. It really is stuff that you're not going to use. I don't, I don't know why they've put it in it. 
far better off making a car, forgetting about all those things and making a car cheaper. So, it drives, it drives absolutely fantastic. It, uh, I'm actually going to cancel Take the third exit. navigation, but before I cancel it, hopefully from this camera you'll be able to see there that um, you've got the directions in your instrument display right in the centre. So that's a good idea. You've also got it on your heads up display in the windscreen. Now it's really bright and clear if you don't wear Polaroid or polarized lenses. Um, I can still see it to be honest, but it is a bit it is a bit dimmer with those on. The as, as I say, this, this is um, a, a fantastic car to drive. It's so nice. The suspension's brilliant. It's uh, there's plenty of power in it. It's very very comfortable. Got electric seats. And you've you've got. I'll show you in a minute. We'll just get the wheels straight before I start messing about with anything. Here we go. Great steering. Plenty of power, I'll just give it some gas. And we're, we're away. That, now that, 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 that's what I was telling you about, the, the lane departure warning. This one actually steers you back slightly. So if I go over there without indicating, watch this. There it is. Vibrating the steering wheel and steering you back into the lane. So uh, I, I think if it needs to do that, then it's too late for you. But we've got panel shift. We've got on the left-hand side here cruise control, and uh, I'll show you the cruise when, when we get on the motorway. Brakes are great. Great tyres. Folding door mirrors. I mean, rather than that um, lane departure warning, I, I would prefer to see blind spot monitoring in the vehicle, which has been on a few, a good few of the cars we've had lately, uh, especially Volvo's. That's a great system. Um, nice, this kind of uh, serrated aluminium inset to the dash, the gear tunnel. And the, door cards, aluminium around the vents, the contrast stitching, it looks really really lovely, the seats are very very comfortable, the front of the seat here, if I click that there you see cushion extension, if I click it upwards it then says lumbar, now I'm not sure why anybody would need to know that if I, if I click there, cushion extension, and then I move it, well, I, I can feel the cushion extension coming out. I don't need it to tell me. And if I click, if I click up the lumbar support, I can feel the cushion inflating in my back. And th those are all things that you should be able to do, and you can actually do, without looking at a screen to tell you they're being done. So that's it now. I, I'm really, really comfortable. Select drover like so, change down. I'm, I'm not convinced what's, what this chap's going to do here, so I'm, I'm just going to hang back. So. Nice display, nice display to have up there when you're driving. Um, if you're not particularly going anywhere, you've no, you're a Sunday driver, which a lot of uh, Volvo owners tend to be.
sorry, you just had to uh, make it an unscheduled stop there. <laughs> camera switched off. It's quite warm actually today and it, uh, it got too hot I think. Okay, it is warm, I've got to say. That's uh, Preston Council looking after the roads for you. Busiest roundabout there. You can't drive around it without shredding your tyres. So here we go, here we've got cruise control, it's just switched on straight away, get up to 70, so I'll just increase the speed there, 66, 68, oh it's going too fast now. switches, you know where a switch is, you can find it in the dark, whether the light's on or off, you know whether it's on or off, um, but there we go, 70 miles an hour, we're doing about 1800 revs, nice and quiet, showing me the, in the display here, Showing me cruise controls on, 70 miles an hour limit. I'm doing 70 miles an hour on the nose. That, that's in the display of the dash. I'm just going to slow down, Mustang. Look at that. That looks awful. That, that looks absolutely shocking. Uh, but it's cost an absolute fortune. I don't know. You can't buy taste, that's for sure. So the, the paddle shifts here on the steering wheel. Change down like so. discovered that looked to me like the switches for Distronic uh, cruise control but I, I don't think this car has Distronic cruise control so whether they just put them on the steering wheel anyway to, to save having more than one part can't really show you how good the steering is on this because the steering on that Nissan Duke in front isn't shame really because that, that's a, a good task going around that roundabout understeer and oversteer his uh, steering not working neither does his indicators and we've got a van just keeps getting better Very, oh, he's not turning right. No, he, I was I was just going to give him an excuse. It is often difficult 
to if you if you go in the left lane quite often there's such a stream of traffic here you can't get across to turn right here so I was giving him the benefit of the doubt but then he spoiled it by going into the left lane I was going to show you how to uh, set the sat nav, but uh, well, I, I'll show you how to set the sat nav, how to pair a mobile, how to stream audio. But you can do all that just by having the cable there, plugging your phone into it. Hey Siri, navigate to Grosvenor Garage, Preston. Getting directions to Grosvenor Garage. Grove in a garage, there you go. Can come up there in a minute. And we'll, once, it, once it's sorted, we'll just be able to click go. Click go. Starting route to Grove in a garage. That's. In 1.6 miles, turn left onto the A675. That's it. So so easy with Apple CarPlay. In your Apple CarPlay, your, your phone is updated uh, several times a, a month. In fact, it feels like daily sometimes, but um, so it's always up to date. You've always got the latest sat nav, and uh, if you want to send a text, um, hey Siri, send a text. Who do you want to send it to? Gordon. What do you want to say? Just testing the car, sending a text to you, no need to reply. Your message to Gordon says just testing the car, sending a text to you, no need to reply. Ready to send it? Yes. Yes. Okay, it's sent. Now that, that's how it should be. I can avoid cyclists <laughs> and send a text at the same time. <laughs> what could be better? Cyclists have a bit of a downer on me at the moment, so I'm being nice. Here we go. It's just, just a, it's a, it's a lovely car. Good saving on new. It's a great colour combination. Great specification. And uh, it, you know, it wouldn't do for all of us to be the same. I, re I remember when I was a kid, and I used to watch like Captain Scarlet and. Perhaps it was a bit older when Night Rider was on, and I used to think, you know, that that, that dashboard. Wow, I wish I wish I had a, a car like that. Um, Ed Straker's car in UFO. Yeah, I wish I had that. And uh, and now we've got all these things and more. I, w I wish we could just go back to the old analog rev counter and uh, speedo. There you go. There's another one that's overheated. So, technology. That, that's what, I love technology, but I hate it at the same time. And, and this is why that, that camera is about uh, 
five weeks old. At the roundabout, turn left onto the A675. And the other one that went off before is less than a year old. All right, well, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish the test drive there before I, I uh, neg everybody out. At the roundabout, turn right onto Chorley Road, then arrive at your destination. Cars, are, it's a pleasure to drive. Arrive at Grosvenor Garage.